One last thing I want to say about pace feeding before I show you the bottles. Pace feeding is fabulous and the engagement is great during daylight hours. Try to downplay that at night and reinforce the idea that nighttime is for sleeping. So go through the mechanics of pace feeding, but try not to wake baby up so you can put them down more easily and they can learn to sleep through the night a little bit faster. So all the bottles that I'm going to show you are going to have one ounce of milk in them so we can see what the bottle looks like when we get down to the end. The position of these bottles was, is going to change greatly when we're trying to empty them out. So we're going to start with the Komotomo bottle. This is the widest of all of the bottles most closely resembling a mother's breast. There are holes in the top to help reduce the air intake. We've got baby at 90 degrees. Here is the Komotama bottle horizontal. The nipple isn't even facing up. We have to get to about here to get milk in the nipple. Now it is pointing down baby's throat, which means when baby starts to suck, that milk is going to go pretty fast down their throat and it can lead to coughing and gagging. So we're going to need to move baby to about here to even get the nipple to point upward. But by the time we're getting to the end of this bottle, we're beer bonging baby. So while this nipple looks great and resembles a mother's breast most closely, the position of this bottle towards the end isn't optimal. It won't give baby the room to shake off the bottle and let, let you know when they're done feeding. The next bottle is the Boom Nourish. They don't put numbers on their bottle. Nighttime doulas like numbers on their bottles, just so you know. Um, also has a wide mouth. Here's baby at 90 degrees. Here's the bottle horizontal. We're going to here to get milk in the nipple, pointing down baby's throat, just like the other one. So we're moving baby. At this point, the nipple is facing more towards the roof of the mouth. But once again, when we're getting down to the end of the bottle, we're in that beer bonging position. The next wider mouth bottle that we have is the Nano Baby. This one has numbers, which is really helpful. Um, wide mouth, not as wide as the other two. Also holes in the top for air to release. There's a long side and a short side to this. So if you're using this bottle, you want the short side on the bottom. So here's baby at 90 degrees. Here's the bottle. Here we are with milk in the tip of it, not nearly as far as the other two, but we still have to move baby. And while we get to the bottom of this nipple, we're beer bonging, bonging again. It's not as bad as the other two. So these wider mouth bottles are great at mimicking the physical aspects of nursing. We're putting baby in a weird position in order to finish the bottle. Let's take a look at what pace feeding is with bottles that don't quite resemble the mother's breast.